Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how I create an HDR black and white photo. So, first thing I'm going to do is select all of my three different exposure images holding Ctrl or Command A on the Mac and I'm going to Tools, Photoshop and Merge to HDR Pro. And I'm just going to be doing everything as I would with a color image to convert to a black and white one but you'll see what I mean in a second so here I am in my Merge with HR Pro window all I'm going to do is click the remove ghosts and I'm going to select probably normal exposure and I'm happy with this and uh, I'm going just to turn in camera raw right now so as I'm using Photoshop CC I've got this ticked if you don't have Photoshop CC uh, you can follow another tutorial that I've created for Photoshop CS6 so I'm going to click right here turn in ACR and uh, I'll have this 32-bit uh, file in camera to work with and here I am in camera Raw. and as you can see the image overall it looks very very nice but I'm not happy yet so first I'm going to change my white balance to shade or cloudy uh, I'll go shade cloudy I'll go for cloudy I like warm tones but cloudy in here in this case it's a bit too much I'm going to bring down my highlights open up the shadows just a bit and I'm going just to try to bring down the exposure a bit because I've got so much information on this 32-bit file I can bring down the touch my exposure and now I can add a bit more open shadows a bit more so I've got a nice balanced image and as you can see it looks a very nice color photo but I'm not here to show you how to create a photo uh, HDR image even though I'll be very happy with this result and to create a great black and white you need to have a decent color image so right here on the top I'm going to HSL grayscale and I'm going to click right here convert to grayscale and as you can see it looks okay but not brilliant so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the sliders so I'm going to grab my reds and I know there's a bit of red as you can see right here so I want just at zero it works for me and I've, let's see the oranges and the oranges uh, I want a bit darker but not too much because this way it doesn't look very compelling so I'll just stick to round here and I'm going to be doing exactly the same with the yellows the yellows I'm going to open the yellows a bit probably yeah something like this now I'm going to do exactly the same with the greens just a touch, aquas a bit, bring down the blues not too much and get my purples and magentas and as you can see it looks quite cool but not very cool so I'm going back to my basic panel and I'm going to grab my clarity slider and just move it like so and as you can see this is the normal without the clarity now with the clarity I'm getting nice textures and actually I'm going all the way up all the way up and I'm happy with this so I've got nice detail on the sky the trees now I'm going to hold my alt key option on the Mac and check my whites and as you can see there's no whites so I'm going to just move my slider and as soon as I see something in here I know that it's, there's white and every image needs to have a bit of white to balance nicely and I'm going to leave it as it is and I know there's a couple of areas there's true whites and now I'm going to do with the blacks exactly the same thing holding alt option on Mac click and I can see I've got some blacks already but I want enhance a bit more those blacks and there we go 
this my image I'm very pleased with that add a bit of vignette not too much sharpen add a bit of masking and there we go so from this to this and this is how I do my black and whites HDR I hope you liked it and if you have any issues or questions feel free to ask me thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now